Yeah, you know, I created this foundation because I want to improve about the society. Because if you look at Nigeria now, you cannot see any like club or anything for like athletics to be changed. And why? Because there's no, there's like no fun to even help those athletes. The food, the food, and everything they take. Where they eat, you see some athletes. They, you know, they work like they be asking of money instead of giving money in Nigeria. You know, this is bad. So that's why I started this foundation to help you know, young talented athletes, everybody, to show their talent and what and this is what you can do. And well, um, this foundation is in Nigeria, and uh, you are back on my father the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Uh, apart from Nigerians, to non Nigerians also benefit from this to Katsari, the country uh, you are talking and represents, where you feel you want to shape the Nigerian, they also benefit um, from this foundation. And how long has it been running? Yeah, I started this foundation last year. So I've been running like last year, to the uh, seventh, next month, the second edition of the Matters um, Challenge. And I have a football too. That's the first running of my dad. Mm. And I do a lot of like boxing and things like that, you know. So just to support what I did before. So and it's what I did before, so that's that's what I've been uh, my family work is focus on that. And now I have the um, collaboration with Easy Good USA. Okay. So that when nobody saw so any talented athlete. That we know that you're not going to take your things, I will send them to Hewlett. Okay. A full scholarship. Wow. So, so that's why uh, I don't think there's no more in Nigeria. I mean, uh, we'll only that we're going to Well, um, are you sure that there are a lot of Nigerians at this point in time have um, decided um, to represent other countries? Um, at the under 20 level, just um, a few months ago, uh, we saw the IAAF World Under 20 Championship, and it was a big embarrassment for Nigeria. It went on social media everywhere, where Nigerian athletes granted an interview that uh, no one cared about them. They were hungry in the camp. In fact, they were not paid their allowances until they got back to the country. And one of them who granted them the interview um, didn't get his money until about two months and all that, when they came back to the country, Nigeria. Um, looking at the whole situation at this point in time, um, a lot of Nigerians are represented by it. Are you aware of this? And did some athletes contact you to then say, we want to talk Nigeria and make that move? Because more than 10 are doing very well for Bahrain and Qatar, not forgetting other countries. Do they keep in touch with you? Yeah, they keep in touch with me. I said, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And this is your life. You know, I chose this because I chose not to be uh, any office. I just want to, I want to be somebody. So that's why I chose this. So if you know that's what you want, do it, man. I know, I advise you, like, don't do it. Because I do it, man, and it pays for me. If you do it, it pays for you. Thank you, girl. But well, a lot of us, or some of us, you know, could easily have access to Femi Okonde uh, because we're journalists. How would a talented citizen of this country get across to you, especially as it concerns your foundation? How can they reach you? Uh, um, I, they can easily get me in my, like, my social media. Okay. Um, my PA is in Nigeria, so. Whenever they need me, anything they need, anything they need, I'll be able to make you guys think it's a happy back in time. Okay, so what about the social media platform? Is it on Twitter? Is it on Facebook? Um, yeah, it, it take care of everything. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so you kind of did get across to that one. Um, you have um, one more question for the poor colleagues today, I'm sure. No, I'm just looking at, you know, it's focus. I'm looking at, you know, I'm looking ahead of, you know, where it's going, you know, it's very good. 
to what even the Nigerian government, the Nigerian sport authority, are not you know, really doing. And uh, good enough, you know, it's more talented, you know, the former footballer, the yes, former boxer, and currently, you know, an athlete, you know, it's a sprinter, uh, the number one in Asia in 200 and 100 meters, the record holder you know, right there in that part of the world. And he's uh, right here now, you know, trying to help Nigerian, you know, talented athletes to get developed, especially in the US. And we could also know uh, that over time, you know, Nigeria, Nigerian sports, you know, was doing well when we had most of our athletes in yeah, America. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you know, and all of them put together, they were a meeting, it was a fusion of education and sports. And that also, you know, helped them greatly. And uh, today, they are where they are today because of you know, the fact that they were developed in the United States. And if, you know, Femi Ogoni is doing this now, I really want to commend him and I need, you know, uh, orders. And I'm, I, I'm not asking for the support of the AFM, but at the same time, the AFM could actually give, you know, a hand in helping to identify some of these talented you know, athletes. As long as they cannot continue with their development, they cannot, you know, for, they can't push them forward to, you know, continue doing what they like, you know, doing best, they should at the same time, you know, liage regularly, the firm of one day so that you know there will be a synergy. The same thing with you know with football. I also want to advise that you know they have the youth development you know, uh, department in the in the Nigeria Football Federation. Then the boxing. In boxing, we have got a lot of talented okay. you know, boxers and uh, everyone million is a regular visitor to the uh, you know to the boxing gym at the national stadium. Is there a boxing gym there? No, it's it's the boxing gym. The boxing boxing gym. Could as well, when you support you know talented boxers there in one of your business, please kindly inform who is in charge in the family of you know, you know is it foundation and yes. can actually keep such athletes from there. Well, I'm um, my last question to you. Tokyo 2020, the biggest game in the world is coming, you know, to that continent where indeed you are arguably the best. How are you looking forward to this? Are you under pressure? No. There's one thing. In this game, one thing is to let out to lose and to let out to win. You know, my dad taught me for because if you let out to win, um, uh, you didn't let out to lose. Hmm. Whenever you win, you're gonna be happy, and whenever you lose, you're gonna be down, and you're gonna be down without coming up again. Hmm. So I've learned how to lose, and I've learned how to win. When I, if I win, I'm okay. If I lose, I'm okay. So no stress. How about the final question for me? You are yeah, you are hundred and two hundred. Yeah, yeah. What is your impression about you know using both? You are in the same events, hundred and two hundred. What is your impression about using both? You know, I, I like this that this guy. He's a legend, but that doesn't mean he's beautiful and you know. He's a human being. So it's not good. So I did I, I, I look at him as normal. Well, I must say very